So on its base, it's construction paper. It's just layers, okay? And you're gonna see that today. Today, you're gonna have most of the class to write your name, just like you did yesterday with the construction paper. That's why I did the construction paper thing, so you would see um, that you need, like uh, for Joe, for the E, you need a piece that goes here, a piece that goes here, a piece that goes here, and then another piece. So you need four layers, okay? Um, Aeneas came to me with an E, but he had a block and he cut spaces out. You can do that, okay? I wanna say that you can do that, but I don't want you to do that yet because that requires another level of understanding that I don't, I don't want you to be, not that I don't want you to be there yet, I don't know that you are there yet. So um, when you open Photoshop, it's gonna look a little different than mine. Uh, to open it on your computer, You'll hit the little rocket ship, you'll scroll over, you'll see a PS square, you click that, it opens. Um, yours will not have these things here, and these are recent projects or things that I've been working on. These are the headshots that when you watch the news, they pop up, that's what it is. So, but yours, when you start, we'll see create new or open. We're gonna create new. And it's gonna give you all these different things. For all of your projects, I'll tell you what I want it to be. Okay, I will tell you, I want, um, let's go, let's go mobile. Let's do wallpaper. So we're gonna do an iPhone 8, all right? So you have these different settings that you can create. The first thing you need to do is name it. So I'm gonna name it Shapes Name Lesson 9-2-2020. Get specific, all right? Because if you just name everything untitled, and I go, hey, let, go back to that thing. I want you to do something. We're gonna, we're gonna add something and tweak it. I'm gonna use it for something. You're gonna go, uh, I don't know which one. And then you're gonna click and click and click. Name it specifically. Now the rest of this, I don't mess with because I set it here. When I hit iPhone, it did it automatically, all right? And we are gonna use iPhone settings. One of the things that um, hopefully we will get next week will be wallpapers. We're gonna do wallpaper Wednesday. So I think Friday we'll, we might bring in pictures and then Tuesday you'll tweak them and then Wednesday we'll push them out so people can download them. Okay, something fun there. So I'm gonna hit create and it's gonna take a second. The Adobe products are big boy, big girl products. They're gonna take a second to do a lot of stuff. All right, they're not something that, like you click and it just pops up instantly, okay? It's doing a ton of stuff behind the scenes, especially when we get into the video side. So the first thing I always, 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 always do is file, save as, okay? And I'm gonna save on my computer and it's gonna ask me where I want it and I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna call it shapes name lesson 920-2020. Okay, and I'm just gonna click okay to those things. Now, the reason I do that is because as you get more and more advanced, you're gonna add more layers, you're gonna add more effects. The more you add, the bigger the strain on the computer. So if you go for an hour and a half and don't save, and then you go to save or go to do something and you get the spinning wheel of death, okay, you're gonna be mad. And I'm gonna, when's the last time you saved? For me, like when I'm editing, this hand is on the keyboard, this hand is on the mouse, and I will tell you, I'll show you more about that. But on a, the reason this is on the keyboard is on a PC, Control S is save. So literally as I'm, I'm hitting Control S every couple of minutes. I have numerous stories of students who worked an entire period. Uh, the most heartbreaking was a young lady who I was working late in the building, so she stayed till like nine o'clock. So from four o'clock to nine o'clock, she never saved. So I was coming back to my classroom. I, I'd been in the auditorium and was coming back to my classroom. This was at a previous building. And I just hear like just sobbing. And I'm going, oh dear God, something has happened to her. It had. Her heart had broken because it didn't, it wouldn't save and it crashed and all of her work was gone. Command S on these, Control S on a PC, it just becomes second nature. Okay, so 
Uh, let's look at the workspace here. This is your toolbar. Lots and lots of stuff in here. Today, we are only going to use the selection tool or the move tool. The shortcut key for that is V. Get used to that. Because if I go, let's say I'm in this tool, uh, not that one, let's go with the wand tool. And I want to just select something and I hit V, you see it brings my cursor back. See that? Like as soon as I hit V, oh, and I hit F for full screen, not what I want. But if I hit V, it pulls it right back. Okay, you definitely, definitely want to have that key uh, memorized. Um, so you have your tools here. We're going to use, um, we're not going to use text. We're going to use the shapes tool, which I have buried somewhere in here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so the shortcut for that is U. All right, and shortcut keys are very important because they um, save you time. If you're not going over here going, uh, W, oh, there it is. So you see now I have the shapes tool, and if I click here, I'm going to draw a shape. All right. So that is U. So if I want to move that shape, I hit V and grab it and move it. Make sense? All right. So Command Z or Control Z is your undo. All right. So tools over here are just tons and tons of panels. The first thing I would tell you to do is go to a workspace and then set it to essentials. The first thing, okay? Set it to essentials so it looks just like this, all right? Um, so again, window, workspace, essentials, and you have this basic workspace that I can pretty much tell you what it is uh, without having to look. See this tab up here? If you're working on multiple project, multiple products, you're gonna have multiple tabs. Again, super important to name it so as you look at the tab. Now. The power in Photoshop is right here in this layers panel. This is really where all the magic happens because this is where you can stack your layers. So I'm going to hit U for the shapes tool and you see here um, it gave me a rectangle. Um, if I wanted a rounded rectangle to where the corners, I would just hold that down or hit shift U and it changes. You see it here changing? Anybody not see that? Okay, so there's rectangle, there's rounded rectangle, there is ellipse, circle, there is a multi-side, there is a line. Today, you will use the um, rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, and then the multi-side, which right now I have set for five, but you're gonna set it for three, triangle. Remember yesterday, those were the only things you could use. So. What's the shortcut for shapes tool? U. Now, so I am going to write my name using just shapes. So I'm gonna hold down U and then shift U to get to a rectangle. And there is the top of my T. Now, over here it says rectangle one. If I click off of that and I make another, I make the downside of my T, you see it says rectangle two. So if I use two for my T, four for the O, four for the M, that's a lot of rectangles, right? And would get confusing if I was trying to alter them. It seems tedious. I assure you that this will save you a lot of time in the future. So come here, T, top. You just double click where it says the name of the layer. T down. Now I know if I need to move this piece, I can just click here and move it or select the layer and move it. Does that make sense? It's very, very important that you do that. Now, the other thing that I did that you may not have noticed or I didn't make a big enough point about was I clicked off the layer. Because if I go here to the shapes tool again using what shortcut key? Say it louder. You. And I just come in and this layer is selected and I make this, oh, you know what, I've cheated. Um, hang on. I have it set to where it'll automatically make new layers. I'll have to remember how I fixed that. If you have it to set to where, like yours is probably not set this way, it's going to make the layers together. So all of those different shapes would be one layer. 
not what you want. It'll work. It'll be fine. But it's not what you want. Because as you move forward into After Effects, which is basically Photoshop mo moving, which is the animation portion, you're not going to want to move all of the pieces together. You're going to want to move them separately. So get into that habit now. So I'm going to label this O, o outside. All right. So we're not going to cut anything out. How would I make this look like an O? White square inside of it. So I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to do this. And I know that's not going to be right, but I'm going to show you something else. Now, what button should I hit to move to select and move the V? Thank you. And I'm telling you that now because it's the same in all of the Adobe products. V is the selection tool. All right. Uh oh, I've lost my layer. O inside. So I'm going to name it first. Now, see this window here? It's called properties. It's constantly popped out. See this green? Looks a lot like this green, right? If I come right here, boom. Now, pretty easy, but doesn't really look like an O, and I want to change it. I want to transform it. Okay, not necessarily rounded corners, but I want to kind of bring it in a little bit to give the outside a little more. So I'm going to transform it. What do you think a shortcut key to transform would be? Control T. Control T Joe cheated. <laughs> control T. All right. So if I hit Control T, you see it brings up this box. These little boxes. Now I can grab these handles and I can move it in and out. Or I can come to the corner. Did you see the cursor change? Can everybody see that? Now I can rotate it. All right. So now if I want to get creative and to get out of that, you hit return or enter. So now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do what to transform it? The outside? Control T. And, and with Control T, you can move it around like just like when you have the selection tool. Notice it is moving to scale. So everything is staying the same proportion, which is okay. And I will tell you how to fix that later. Um, so there's my O. And again, not very cute, not very, not very like, ooh, right? But think about when you drew people the first time. They weren't very ooh. Okay, so we're, 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 we're not starting very ooh. What should I get to my shapes tool? What button should I use? Nope, just you. That's where, that is where it kind of gets, you're, you're going to get frustrated because you're like, oh, command, oh, no, it's not command. Oh, you know, control Z, not Z. Z is zoom, control Z is undo, or command Z is undo. Just one of those things you got to, and I do the same thing. I'm like, uh, button, button, button. Okay, I got to figure it out. All right, so now my M. So left, M, down, and again, get into that habit. So if I have an M, right, and it looks like this. So this side and this side are the same, right? Just on different sides? And you want them to be the same. Command or control J. I don't know why J. I have no idea. Is duplicate layer. So if I select it, command J. And now I can use my arrows because I have it selected to move that layer over. So what duplicates? Command J. Control J, Command J, whatever. The arrows will nudge over. If you hold down Shift, it nudges over faster. All right. So now I have the two outsides. Let me make this right M cut or down. So if I want to make the V part, all I got to do, and this is this is kind of getting into that. Okay, how do I Command J left M V? So now. I just take this back over here because I wasn't smart. Now you notice these purple lines that keep popping up? Yeah. Photoshop's trying to help you make sure everything's in alignment. Okay? So how do I transform this? Control T, Command T. 
and I'm going to put it on an angle and I'm going to make it a little shorter. Okay. I'm going to hit return and I don't like how it's off this edge just a little bit so I'm going to nudge it using my arrows like so. So how do I make the, the opposite? Command J and I'm going to rename it right M V. Now, showing you how some, some different stuff. Transform is Control T. If I right click on it, it gives me these options. If I flip vertical, see what it did? Just flipped it. Now, Now I'll move this piece over, and we have an M. Make sense? See how many layers it took? That was why yesterday with the construction paper, I said circles, squares, um, and not cut stuff out. To do circles, again, U or Shift U, and it's the ellipse tool. And this, you can do it this way. Probably not what you guys are going to want. If you hold down shift, it will make a perfect circle. Okay? So let's talk about that real quick. So if I, I'm going to make an O, um, if I'm Jags, and I got, or any of the Masons, I got too many Masons, I want to make an O, and I want them to be proportionate, okay? How would I make the outside O and the inside O the same proportion? Duplicate, how do I do that? Control J. All right, so let's do outside O, inside O. Now, how would I change the inside O to make it smaller? Control T. And then if you just, again, this is where doing it in scale helps because it will do this, and you can drag it right there, and then click here to change the color after you hit return to white and now you have that okay so it makes sense now uh oh my circle's gone you see what happened what happened put it under as you guys are working today somebody's going to get oh I, I, I'm frustrated because I can't find that circle I know I made it it's right there and I'm going to say move your layers check your layers okay Always check those layers before you get frustrated. And don't get frustrated because it's it, everything in here is fixable. Okay. Um, any questions? All right. So let me save this and close it. And here's what you're going to do today. You're going to go, you're going to open Photoshop. You're going to go to create new. You are going to do print letter. Okay. So create new, print, letter, shapes, name, and you're going to change the orientation. Portrait, we're going to make it landscape. All right? Now, every time I do this task, someone says, let me hear, I'm going to just blow through this real quick. Okay, you see what happened here? I had them both selected, so when I changed the color, it changed them both. So, Command-Z. Now I will click off. Boom. Now I'll change that color. Now, inevitably, somebody in the next 50 minutes is going to say, Mr. White, I'm out of space. How do I make the space bigger? How do you make this bigger? You can't. So what do you do? Make your text smaller. Okay. This is eight and a half by eleven. This is print. So you want to keep it inside that. So how do I transform things? Control T. And don't forget, on a Mac, it's Command-T. 
So I'm going to select these two layers, Command T. Now look what can happen. They're going to change and scale together. All right. So if you get to the point where, uh, like, let's see, Aeneas, uh, Reagan, Sarah Beth, pretty much Savannah, where you're going, oh my, I have so many letters in my name. Select both all the elements of the layer, Command T, and you can drop them down to scale. Okay? Questions? So what format are we using? Letter? Landscape. Landscape. All right? Go make awesome.